Hi there VC, it's Martin here. Um, I don't seem to be able to um, work out my head at the moment because if I have a cap on, apart from it being indoors, it blends in with the wall. Whereas if I do that, my head isn't white, it seems to blend in with the curtain. Oh well, so this is a um, September, yeah, September update 2020. Thanks for watching everybody, uh, just a few bits and bobs and then I'm still working on the uh, Richard McCook, I think, 90s albums, which maybe I will get done eventually. Anyway, just a few bits and bobs. I'm supposed to be selling at a record fair next um, Sunday, whether that will happen in the UK with all the lockdown um, shenanigans, I've no idea. Mm. Yeah, I think they're trying to do it out, so outside as well, anyway. So, here's an interesting thing to start with. <laughs> a 7-inch of um, The Love Bolt. So this is by Jack Jones, backed with um, Wives and Lovers of Backrack and David. So I, I like this uh, theme tune. A bit cheesy, but um, very funny. So, a CD now. Um... This is terrible. I've tried to get into this. This is your Keith Jarrett and your, this is plinkety plonkety jazz. This isn't your Cologne Cologne concert um, um, kind of avant-garde music. It's it's. Well, I know there was a there was a film and a remake with the same name as the uh, the Out of Towners. I'm not sure whether it's linked to it. It certainly sound would sound good in a in a film, this music, but to sit down and listen to it, I just cannot do. Um I tried to listen to it when I was driving and that seemed to make it even worse. <laughs> um right, some albums. Okay. Uh yeah. A nice copy of uh this compilation um uh Music for Pleasure. Uh Mums and Papas, Steely Dan, Grassroots, B.B. Um, King doing um, Summer in the City, uh, Stepping Wolf, Joe Walsh, Four Tops, and it was um, 71p VAT there, so had this before, nicer copy. <clears throat> okay, oh. Save the, saving the best till last as well here. Well, I th thought it was, but another possible, not quite sure. Anyway, this is um, 22 uh, Piste de Pirco. So that is um, 22 um, of these, like, uh, full stop white dots. Um, that's the Finnish band, and all six tracks are in English. And I asked... Um, uh, um, fellow VCA Yardko, hello Yardko, Martin Lassi up there in Oulu in Finland. He didn't know all of these songs, so maybe they've had a go at uh, um, doing um, some stuff on a English label or whatever. It's the label uh, A to Z Records. Um, like a lot of bands, come to the UK, I guess, and um, um, not all of them are successful. Here is uh, Stravinsky conducts Stravinsky uh, Pre Petrushka, which is um, well. I know Firebird, and I know um, Right Right of Spring. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this is. Whether it's a ballet or just sort of a similar sort of um, work. So I'd be interested to find that out. Anything be often anything Beatles related for a quid I pick up. Um, this is the Beatles Golden Songs, uh, owned by Gene there, and it's on Windmill Records. And I thought, give it a go. Nice cover. Why not? Uh, not going to bother showing that. <laughs> what a tease! Eh? Um, this is uh, Soft Cell third album, The Art of falling apart with a free 12 inch that totally grabbed me because it's called Martin and I listened to that and it's just like completely mad 
um, sort of high energy disco about some weird guy called Martin. Weirder than me. And the B side of that 12 inch is a Hendrix medley. So I don't have anything by Soft Cell at all. Maybe just, you know, you tainted love or whatever on 12 inch. So I'll give it a go. Uh, to France now. Here is um, French revolutionary kind of songs. Uh, Chanson Populaire de France par Yves Montand on a lovely um, EMI, UK EMI label. There we go. Lovely condition, cost a couple of quid. Of a soft sell was a fiver. But I pushed the boat out on that. And um, yeah, I like a bit of Yves Montand from, of course, he acted in The Wages of Fear. I think that is even mentioned on here actually. For some reason. Yeah. About his acting career. And um, yeah. Eve draws upon the riches of French popular song. Through many centuries. So all kinds of stuff on there. Very nice. Another Music of the World LP. Uh, this is a duplicate copy. But I grabbed it anyway. Really, really funny album, Ron Atkinson, 1980, live in Belfast. Um, he's redone some of these comedy things at, you know, Royal Variety performances or, or live shows, I'm sure. With Angus Deaton on the um, inner sleeve there. For a quid. Now. Now. This is Sisters of Mercy 12 inch. It's got a mark here. I don't know whether it's going to play through it or not. Maybe you can. Um... I don't know that you can see that, but um... yeah, it's got one of those sort of marks. But I thought for a quid I'd give it a go. It's uh... <coughs> Dominion from. Um... <sighs> what album is that from? Uh, second album, I think. Uh... Oh, Floodland. It's on Floodland. It says it down here. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be Christmas. Less than 100 days to go. Carpenter's One Pound Christmas album from uh, 1978 on A&M. And Depeche Mode. 12 inch for a quid. And lastly, now, maybe you can help here, but this is... Uh, found this for a quid, amazingly, but I don't know whether it's a, a bootleg or not. If you have a close look at this, it almost looks like it's been sort of scanned on. And, um, yeah. I mean, I know this album, I've got this album. The cover on mine is sort of a bit more um, shiny. It's in, it's in pretty good, pretty good, Nick. Not... I'd be interested to know, like... You know, I tried looking on Discogs, Discogs, it was very difficult to see, really. So, that is that. That is um, a brief video from myself. Hope you are all well. Um, and um, keep, keep listening to music. And keep your pecker up, everybody. Um, yeah, and I'll, I will talk to you all soon or comment on your videos. Cheers now. Bye.